near the end of this said foot and ankle mobility warm-up sequence, we're going to look at a very particular type of calf raise. Now, the reason why we introduce the ball and do this said calf raise here is because for a lot of us, because of our lifestyles and some of the dysfunction in our posture, we have a tendency to have that external bias when we place our footprint and then we actually use that same method when we're running and changing direction, which can take away our ability to get true forms of dorsiflexion throughout our full footprint, particularly our toes, and really using the components of our big toe, which gives us hip extension, they're attached. So introducing the ball here allows us to get that full connection or activation presence that we should be getting from our big toe. And as we comprehensively squeeze up, she's still focusing on building that proper alignment in her shoulder girdle and her pelvis. Great exercise again to strengthen that set area, give it more proprioception and range of motion. So when I'm stepping, I don't have a tendency to roll out excessively on my foot. And when I hit that connector, that big toe propels me along with my hip.